Good morning. It is, I don't know, it's like 7, 7 a.m. <laughs> today I'm in an open field. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so today I will be talking about Rec 709, Rec 2020, and Canaman. Rec 709, Rec 2020, and Canon Cinema Gamut. Think of them as different languages that is translated to your screen, right? And Rec 709, 2020, and Cin Canon Cinema Gamut are different languages. Okay, we have a light spectrum. We have a light spectrum here. Oh, we have a light spectrum, right? And then turn it into a CIE chart, which is a horseshoe type of chart. We t yeah, you, you get the gist. Uh, what you see here is the Rec 709 color gamut within it, and this is 2020 and Canon Cinema Gamut. I watched this video, The Theory on Color Gamuts, by Film... I forgot his name. Oh no, I forgot his YouTube. I'll, I'll put it I'll put it in the uh, thing. He does a really good explanation on what they are. Basically, Rec, 20, uh, Rec 709 is meant for HD. 2020 is more catered towards Rec 2020, because Rec 709, 8-bit, Rec 2020 can go up to like 10 to 12-bit. So, how, how does this reflect on practical use? So we'll just find that out right now. So I have the footage right here and we're just gonna look through them and we'll see which is better for 4k and we're, we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to convert your your log footage and then tr uh, put it into rec 709 2020 or cinema get it okay so first we have the control h.264 no log okay we have this is c log what you do are you create your nodes we have two nodes i usually keep the first one nothing as my starter and then we we use this uh this is what what you need in your life and the reason why davinci resolve is just better than premiere i don't I, i'm not even going to get into that situation so color space transform we drag it and drop it into the node and then we put our inputs in our color space is rec 709 and our input gamma is c log 3 now it has changed and we look at it let's look at it real quick you know good color Good everything. Now let me see if it's in 4K anyway. It's not even in 4K. I don't even know what 4K is. What the frick? <laughs> okay, now we have it. Now we have it in 4K. You know, good color on the board. Okay. Uh, that should be in 8-bit. Okay. Good dynamic range. Good. Very good. Okay, we'll do the same for the Rec 2020. Uh, color space. Rec 2020. And in C-Log 3. Is there a difference? There is a... There is a, There's a good difference. There's a good difference. You can see base... Now there's more color within 2020. Power of 10 bit. Okay. Now we have Canon Cinema Gamut. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure we all know that this is the top dog. Well, it's pretty much the same as Rec 2020, except there's more yellows up here. You can, it's more saturated. So that's good. So definitely not for the, uh, definitely a no for the. 709 on 4k but that's that's basically how you convert your footage from c log to uh to rec that's how you convert your c log rec 709 2020 in cinema gamut then you can do your edits i'm gonna do a little edit give it a little curve oh wow very nice oh wow very very nice give it a little turn turn the skies cyan teal can i make this orange oh wow very nice that's kind of my look I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. Let's. I uh, I reckon I can get to a thousand subscribers. We can do it. We can do it. I will do it. We will. I have to do it. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next video.